Hey buddies, it's Therese and today I thought I would do kind of like a collective collect collective favorites video because it's gonna do like a monthly one but then I don't like gather enough favorites every month so I'll be doing these videos like kind of sporadically and when I think I have enough favorites to film a video. So I'm gonna start off with makeup and skincare stuff. I don't have a lot, well I mean I have just like four favorites in this one. If you watched my Get Ready With Me video, self promo, <laughs> um, I mentioned this one, the Bare Bones Moisturizer. I actually love it because it's just so simple. There's three ingredients in them, they're all just like oils and butters. Um, I find it like actually really hydrates my skin and since I kind of have like acne prone, sometimes oily, sometimes dry, whatever skin, it doesn't actually like cause me breakouts, which is what I was really scared about. Um, and I've been using it for a few months now, so like 10 out of 10 to this product. I also talked about Benzagel in one of my other videos, but I was looking for a natural vegan option for it, and I found um, tea tree oil. This one's just from the body shop. It actually works just as well as um, Benzagel. It, it dries out your skin just a little less, but it also works just a little less faster. This is just a toner water, it's Breath of Fresh Air um, from Lush. The reason why I'm like including this in my favorites because it's pretty much just water, like literally the first ingredient is aqua. Okay, well the second ingredient is seawater. Um, so like I just find this like really refreshing if you're feeling like gross and stuff just to spritz your face. I also think it'd be like super easy to make it yourself so there's no need to go out and buy like this if it's too expensive. I think it was like 10 bucks. I think it'd be super easy to make your own like just like cold water, some essential oils or something like that just to like spray your face and kind of just kind of just keeps you feeling fresh throughout the day. My one makeup product that I'm going to just like praise so much is um, the Lolita 2 Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick. It is like, this is the color I'm wearing right now, it's my favorite lipstick. I like drink a lot of liquids throughout the day so I hate like, you know, you get like that rim of water there. Um, this one like lasts as good as any long lasting lipstick can really last. I only usually have to apply it one other time other than in the morning which is like super nice because if you're lazy like me touching up your makeup throughout the day isn't your priority yeah so as for reading uh, I just finished 100 year old man who climbed out his window and disappeared I really like this book because it intertwined like the present where he was going like people trying to find him as well as his past all into like one plot and they all like kind of came together i also like really liked how the author wrote it like his tone of voice was just like i just really like was like yes it was like kind of sarcastic with a bit of dry humor and it was just like it was very much my type of book like yeah i just really liked how the author wrote it I'm also finally reading the Harry Potter books. I know I'm like 10 years late on that trend, but I'm like just starting the second one. So I got a lot of shows because I watch a lot of Netflix, I'm being honest. This is the one I literally, there was like two I found yesterday and I'm like I have to include them because I'm on like episode five. Like, So 13 reasons why. Um, and I read the, the book a long time ago, like a few years, and I was just like really excited to see that had like a... TV series. Um, I also found Eye Zombie. This like doctor whose life is all put together, gets scratched and becomes a zombie and like she eats other people's brains to like learn their past and help solve crimes. Not usually like a zombie person movie book. Zombie person movie book? Yes, that made sense. Um, but like I actually really like this one. So I Sorry guys, my camera died, so I was just letting it charge, and so I think I was talking about favorite movies. Yeah, so Mr. Nobody is such a confusing movie to explain, like you just have to watch it. Like, it's kind of one of those movies that it makes sense when you watch the last scene. Um, like horror movies, 
Get Out, it's just in theaters. It might actually just have left theaters. And then there's also Time Lapse, which I really, really liked. Um, these three people, like, neighbor has this, like, time machine, and it shows them, like, I think 24 hours in the future with a Polaroid. And then food-wise, I've been loving, I've always loved this actually, Boom Chicka Pop. It's actually empty. It's like, it's really sad. No, Boom Chicka Pop, it's like my favorite popcorn ever. It's just like I could eat the whole bag myself. Um, also the name and marketing, 10 out of 10, because literally why I think we buy it is because of how it looks, but it actually tastes like sea salted popcorn like it's like it's just popcorn but it's like it's really cute and it tastes pretty good so yeah I also really like matcha tea right now um but more specifically I got for my birthday no, for Christmas I got a portable matcha maker from David Steve from one of my sisters and you just add a few tablespoons teaspoons or matcha perfect spoon which is from David's tea into a matcha maker shake it up for 30 seconds and then pour it into a cup what I like to do is I use a vanilla matcha make uh, vanilla matcha powder and then I just put it into an iced cup and then I just have it cold I don't know it tastes pretty good to me um, also you kind of feel healthy um, and you can kind of make it into like what are those things called? Matcha lattes by adding almond milk or something. I don't drink dairy milk, so like um, almond milk. Almond milk during Christmas, I added like almond eggnog milk to the vanilla uh, matcha maker, and it was pretty good. But they don't have eggnog milk out right now, which is kind of sad. As you guys know before, if you've watched my Get to Know Me, I love candles. My friend got me a constellation candle. From Bath and Body Works, mahogany. They have like mahogany. Like teakwood, mahogany, applewood, mahogany, coconut. There's like um, mahogany teakwood, like extreme, like it's like super condensed. Um, I think there's mahogany mango. I want to say I haven't tried that one, but I think it's for summer to get like a bit more summer vibes. I don't know. It's just something about the mahogany smells just like. Yes. I also really like coloring books. Um, I know coloring books have been like out there for a bit. I think they actually really do work like to relax and stuff and like sometimes you want to like watch TV and like keep your hands busy or you want to like listen to music but keep your hands busy. Got the trick of it. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you remember that, comment below. I don't know what that was called but I remember that was super big in elementary. Peace.